Hi, I'm Marco Loba, the CEO of Catena Biosciences, and we're curing autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disorders are the single largest class of ailments affecting humans today. Almost one in six people will develop an autoimmune disease during the course of their lifetime, and over 80% of these people are women. Despite their prevalence, our treatments for autoimmune diseases don't do much to address the root cause of the disease. Autoimmune diseases are caused by the immune system recognizing healthy cells and proteins as being dangerous and producing antibodies to attack these parts of the body. Most major treatments for autoimmune disorders either just address the downstream inflammation response or they turn down the whole immune system. Despite this, they're worth billions of dollars per year without addressing and or fixing the underlying cause of these diseases. We believe that we need to change this paradigm focusing on something called tolerance induction or a retraining of the immune system. At Catena, we believe that the best way to do this is via red blood cells. Decades of work has shown that red blood cells are powerful modulators of the immune response. And if you can only attach the antigen or the target of an autoimmune disease to the red blood cell, it will be able to present that antigen to immune cells in the anti-inflammatory context of the red blood cell surface. This would then stop the production of antibodies against these targets and effectively cure the autoimmune disease. The challenge until now has been, how do you do this? How do you attach a protein to the surface of a cell? This has been an almost impossible task until the technology that I developed during my PhD. What we showed was that if you can use this enzyme called tyrosinase to activate native amino acids on your target protein that it can attach to the surface of a cell. This means that we have a very fast and easy way of attaching whole proteins, in this case, the targets of autoimmune attack, to red blood cells, creating therapeutics that can cure these diseases. Since we started Catena and opened our lab in June, we've been able to show that we can modify red blood cells with a variety of antigens. And we've taken these and put them into mice with a model of multiple sclerosis. We showed that our treated mice fared much better than the mice receiving just unmodified blood. This shows that our system is capable of stopping the immune attack on these specific targets. We're very excited by this result because it's almost as strong as the leading treatment for M multiple sclerosis, which is prednisone. And that's just on our first experiment without any dose optimization. For our patients, we envision a annual booster shot where we take the patient's blood, modify it with red blood cells, inject it at a hospital or center of excellence, and then they get a recurring shot until we're able to establish long lasting tolerance in the patient. This is nothing like the cell therapies you might have heard of, talking about CAR T cells. The manufacturing process for those types of therapeutics is exhaustive and long and requires a many, many step process to produce the final product. Our system is a simple three-step process. We take donor or patient blood, put it into a one-hour reaction, and then centrifuge it for cleanup the cost for us is go always going to be orders of magnitude cheaper than any comparable cell therapy. For us, it's important to start simple. We're starting with clear autoimmune disorders that we know what the targets are and what our endpoints will be. For example, Graves' disease, long COVID, the persistence of COVID symptoms after patients have cleared the virus, and celiac disease are really excellent targets that we'll be pursuing in our first wave. Once we've shown efficacy in these initial indications, we'll move to more complex disorders such as multiple sclerosis, allergies, and enzyme replacement therapies and transplant rejection. We also have a variety of opportunities outside of the cell therapy space. We have already signed a contract to run initial studies with a major pharma company in the immuno-oncology space. We also have potential partnerships in vaccine development and in gene editing. Our go-to-market strategy focuses on creating a core therapeutic while using these sub-licenses to fund the development. Our team is now comprised of four full-time workers at Catena, along with our Matt Francis as our advisor. Our advisory board is also rounded out by Dr. Rappaport and Dr. McLaughlin, who wrote the book on Graves' disease, and Dr. Mumta, 
Basak, who is a former FDA and NIH regulatory expert. Thank you for your time.